Language Search International Spoken ESL Exam, Communicator Level, this is the 1st of July 2019, and Honna Pátka exam begins. Hello, my name is Kristina Kürti. Can you spell your family name for me, please? Hi, my name is Tana Pátkai, P-A-T-K-A-I. Thank you. And which country are you from? From Hungary. Thank you. Now, in part one, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself and your ideas. Okay. All right? Yeah. The first topic is television. What kinds of programs do you like and dislike? Well, I like when people are telling their stories or and I also like when uh, interior designer uh, shows around the house, but I don't like when uh, shows are fake and they have to uh, do stuff they don't like to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Friendship. What qualities do you look for in a good friend? Well, it's very important for me to be honest in every situation and also to be uh, friendly with others as well. And uh, I like when people are uh, funny mm -hmm. and uh, especially when they are, have big jokes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Leisure facilities. What kinds of leisure facilities are there in your town? Uh, sorry, what is leisure? Leisure facilities yeah. are places where you can spend your free time. Okay, so I'm living in a small town, so we only have like playing playgrounds and uh, uh, biking areas. You you can go uh, in the nature and you can go outside to play. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Public transport. Uh, why do you think some people pay lots of money to fly first class? Well, uh, can you repeat the question? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Why do you think some people pay lots of money to fly first class? Well, first of all, it's so much easier and you can go uh, to the other line where nobody's there. So they usually treat you as a very special person and also it's very comfortable for mm -hmm. everybody. Okay. Foreign language ability. Uh, why do you think some people learn a language and then forget how to speak it? Well, I think practice is the most important thing. So if you don't practice the language, you probably will forget. But uh, also, if you uh, don't like the language, you probably not gonna, uh, not going to uh, remember that because you, you just don't like how to uh, mm -hmm. speak it. Okay, thank you. Now, part two, uh, we are going to role play some situations and I want you to start to respond. Okay. okay. The first situation is that I'm your neighbor. I start. Hello, my name is Christy. I have just moved in next door. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Hannah. Oh, hi, nice to meet you too. How are you? Oh, well, fine. You know, we're very busy with moving in. Yeah, and I yes. was just wondering, do you love uh, living here? Is yeah, it a good place? Yeah, we love it. We actually live here uh, since we I was born, so mm -hmm. I love this neighborhood. I hope you love it too. I, I do too. Yeah. Okay. You might... Uh, Help me look around yeah, and show for me sure. places. Yeah, mm -hmm. Any time. Thank you. Second situation, uh, you bought tickets for the cinema tonight. And tell me where and when to meet. Okay. You start. Hi. Oh, hi. Well, I buy your tickets for tonight. Really? And I was, I was thinking uh, maybe we can meet uh, around 6-ish if you... Uh, free that time. Well, I finish at 6, so could it be a little later than that? Yeah, that's fine. Our movie starts at like 7 o'clock, so mm -hmm. that's totally okay. fine. Okay, then after work, yeah, uh, that's, I can yeah. go and meet you. Okay, so where do you want to meet? Mm -hmm. Well, we can meet in front of the cinema or we can meet uh, in front somewhere else. In front of the else. cinema, I, I would different. love that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, alright. Yeah, See you, you. See you in there. the evening then. Uh, third situation, we are flatmates and you don't really want to go out tonight. I start. Come on, we'll be late if we don't go soon. Well, actually, I'm pretty busy tonight. I don't know if I want to go at all. Well, you promised me you would come with me tonight. I know, but you know, there will be people I don't like, so 
I would love to stay and then here. And what? I mean, you don't have to be with them. You can be with me. I know. Maybe, maybe next time. I'm sorry. Oh, all right. But I will take you by your word okay. then. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, next situation. I'm your teacher. And you have just arrived very late at school again. You start. Hi. Sorry for the late. Oh, hello, Hannah. Uh, you know, it's not the first time, so... I know, I apologize, but my bus was late, so I I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm so sorry. Well, uh, is it always the problem that your bus is late? Well, yeah, usually. You, you should do something with that. I know, I, I will try to work on it. All sorry. right, okay, I would prefer you coming okay. in time. Thank you. Now, part three. In this part of the test, we're going to uh, discuss something together. We are planning to go on holiday with some friends. And uh, let's talk about what kind of holiday we want to, we want and make some decisions. Here are some ideas, and I have some different ones. Okay? okay. Take 20 seconds to think about what you want to say. Okay, you start. Hi, what's up? Oh, hi. Oh, uh, you know, it's high time we planned this uh, yeah. trip together. Yeah, first time we should talk about a time when, when we, mm -hmm. ha we need to go. Like, I was thinking maybe we should go first two weeks in June. Mm -hmm. Is that good for you? Well, I thought August would be better, the first two weeks in August. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's good for me as well. Well, the weather might be better in August, uh, True. since I thought we could go to a coastal resort. Well, yeah, I was thinking maybe we can go on the mountains and hire a car, go hiking mm. and that kind of stuff. So I don't know which one would you prefer better. Well, I thought that we could go uh, to this coast and we could swim and sunbathe. Well, and just relax. You that know, sounds no? good too. I'm I'm in it. So, um, where should we stay? Do you think about that? Uh, well, we could check the internet. Yeah, uh, I'm certain we might find some place to to stay. Uh, what kind of accommodation would you prefer? Well, I was thinking maybe a family hotel because mm -hmm. we can stay there with with all of our friends, so mm -hmm. we don't have to separate at night. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, yeah, we could have some common Also, I was to thinking a mm -hmm. few activities, uh, what, what do you want to do there? Mm -hmm. Well, as I said, swimming and some bathing oh, would yeah, be yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was thinking maybe walking and making pictures, taking mm -hmm. pictures. I love mm -hmm. those, you know, yeah, you know yeah, me. <laughs> we can do that there too. Good, okay. And I agree uh, with uh, you that we could hire a car that's the easiest yeah. way of transport. Yeah, I think so, so too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you think we should self-cater, like we should cook for ourselves or...? Mm, well, we can do that. I think that's the cheapest way to go. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have to think about what kind yeah. of food we should yeah, take. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Uh, part uh, four. In this part of the test, you're going to talk on your own for about two minutes. Uh, and your topic is some festivals in your country, okay? You now have 30 seconds to write some notes to help you. So your topic is some festivals in your country. On the pathway, please start. Okay, so personally, I usually don't go on festivals during the summer, but I hear about Balaton Sound, it's, uh, it's uh, around the biggest lake in Hungary and uh, I usually hear, hear like there are so many people there and uh, famous singers go there and I think that that could be fun and uh, during the summer there are several other festivals too like uh, fest, uh, fest festival, I don't know how to say in English, but it's in uh, Margaret Island and that one is also for, for uh, younger people and 
uh, I would say they usually go with friends and uh, take a lot of stuff with them like uh, like a tent or uh, a lot of clothes during the week so there are some places to take a shower but they usually try to uh, get around with uh, uh, the hacks with cleaning themselves mm -hmm. For example, dry shampoo and this <laughs> kind of stuff. But uh, also for the for the party, I think there are a lot of young people who drinks a lot these festivals, and uh, uh, those people are uh, having fun and uh, dancing around. I think those festivals are fun a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot fun. Let me ask you some questions. Yeah. Um, how have these festivals changed in your country in the past 50 years? Well, probably there are more technology because uh, like uh, in the concerts there are so many lights and uh, big, uh, uh, big, big uh, places to go. I don't, I don't know. Actually, I I never been in a festival, so I don't really know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, probably the technology. Okay. And how important is it for children to learn about traditions? Well, um, for the festival or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, for me, I never was taught about uh, festivals because uh, I don't think it's a Hungarian tradition. I think it's all around the world. Uh, young people are going to have fun in the summer, and uh, 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 I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, which festival would a visitor enjoy the most? What do you think? Well, probably but the Balaton Sound because, mm -hmm. uh, as I said, the Balaton Lake is the biggest lake in Hungary, and I. I would go there with my family anyways. So I think that's the great place to go with my friends to hang out and uh, have a party and yeah, have fun mm -hmm. during the summer. Okay, and which festivals always have traditional food? Probably the one which is in Budapest because there are so many tourists are coming here and they want to try Hungarian dishes like goulash and uh, mm -hmm. or kürtes kalac and I think those are the most important things to try in Hungary. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you very much. Hana Patkai, that is the end of the exam. Thank you so Thank much. You.